I want to rock and roll all night and party every day. I want to rock and roll all night and party every day. Hi. Welcome back, everybody. Happy New Year's. I hope you guys had a good and safe and fun New Year's. I did myself. And I'm ready to hop back into doing art for the New Year's. One of my New Year's resolution is to create more videos and be more creative. And what better way to be more creative than one of my Christmas gifts, the Sal Color Color Pencils. Let's try saying that three times backwards. But yeah, I'm getting ready to use these on my fresh sketchbook. I really like that I'm starting off the New Year with a fresh sketchbook. I've never done that before. And it's gonna be an amazing time. I'm gonna try these out. I read the reviews. These are supposed to be compared to Prisma Color Color pencils, and I'm gonna see how I do. I don't have that much history. I only think I've used color pencils once, the Crayola brand, and I really enjoyed using them. So let's get this video started, and I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you for sticking around this long. I hope you enjoyed watching me swatch those colors. It took me longer than I expected to because honestly, I don't have that much history swatching. I mainly use paints and when you use paints, you don't really put the colors down on paper. Uh, you just go along with the flow of however the paint is, or at least that's how I train myself to paint when I go out and paint. But I wanted to talk to you guys about these pencils because I did some research on them and these pencils were com being compared to Prismacolor color pencils and I've never used the Prismacolor but I like it a lot. Uh, the only pencil that I could compare these to is the Crayola color pencils and with the Crayola co color pencils I did a lot of my work and I really enjoyed it because it, it they felt smooth and I feel like if I would have been using better paper on this it would have felt even smoother but it came out with texture on it which I really enjoyed it because it, it was something different and it made me feel weird while I was drawing it because I wanted to get some darks even more darker and I couldn't do it because of the limitations that I had with the paper. 
So I'm going to be using another type of paper to do colors with these pencils. But for now, I'm just doing this little quick example piece just to see how they do and see how my first time using them, how they go. And I really enjoyed them because it, they were really smooth to work with. And real fast before I keep going with the video, I just wanted to plug my Twitch channel. I use it a lot or I stream on it a lot lately and I wanted to make 2022 the year that I stream a lot. So if you haven't gone and followed me, please make sure to do so. Uh, I do request over there and soon I'm going to be making a subscriptions tier list and I'm going to have drawings and paintings that people could get that are subscribed as giveaways. And I'm also going to be painting some of my subscribers. So make sure to go on to Twitch and follow the live stream because I'm just getting started and I'm going to be doing a lot of it. Lately, I've only been streaming once a week, mostly because my scheduling has been a little bit messed up and I had a lot of stuff to do during the holidays. But now that I don't have as much to do or as much on my plate, I will be live streaming even more. But that's the last time this video that I'm going to mention my Twitch. And yeah, let's keep it moving. So at this point, I'm getting started with the second eye. And you guys didn't see it, but I already had a sketch. I don't really trace or use any projectors. I just do it by myself because honestly, I feel like if you trace, you're not really improving your art. You're just handicapping yourself for the future. And I feel like I don't want to do that because I'm just, I'm just making my time harder if I don't practice. Because whenever I'm, I don't have those fancy gadgets to trace or to project onto my paper, then I'm going to be screwed. So that's why you shouldn't trace everybody. But I hope you enjoyed this little explanation. I'm going to leave some music on for you and enjoy the rest of the video. you guys where I'm at on this so so far I've done the face and I've done the the lips but I still haven't got into the hair and the eyes and the reason is because I wanted to get everything down before the two hardest things and uh, I wanted to to do the, the hardest things at the end so that it could be easier for me uh, that's just the way that I work but so far I've gotten everything down basically the lips the and the face so right now i'm about to start on the hair and interestingly enough uh how i haven't used colored pencils in a long time uh i was doing like different shades of blue over here so you could actually see that but but my one issue is that the paper is it, it doesn't help me with color blending because is watercolor watercolor cold pressed paper and what happens is that it has bumps and ridges so the color pencils cannot get uh too deep into the paper so what i started doing was taking my white and actually burnishing the paper that's uh something that i learned from watching other youtube channels on how to mix but i'm gonna keep going on this and i'll see you at the end of the video
guys. I hope you enjoyed watching me create this art piece. It's not the best in the world because I I haven't used color pencils that much. I only used it once before to create a drawing. And the last time that I used color pencils, it was me using Crayolas. And I really enjoyed the process that time. So I'm really happy that I got these for Christmas because I will be using them again. And I will be taking full advantage of them. I will be using different paper though because... I did realize that with this type of paper, the color didn't go deep into the paper because it has little ridges for watercolors and stuff. This is cold press watercolor papers, if I didn't say that early in the video, I want you to know. But I also wanted to show you this, which was the watercolor drawing that I did before these with the Crayolas. And I honestly feel like the paper really helped because this paper... It, as I said earlier, it was too rough on my color pencils. And talking about the papers being too rough on my color pencils, let me actually show you guys two of them. This is my yellow and my black color pencils. And in this one session, I used both of them. I used the black for the hair, and that's where most of my black went. And then the yellow, I used it as an undertone for most of the face. Real fast, let me just... You, you you like that ASMR? All right, but let me just stop. Well, hold on. Okay, let me just let me just put this down because honestly, I could work on this for days. I really enjoyed using these color pencils, but I hope you enjoyed the finished result. I really enjoyed making it. If you want to see more videos like this, please make sure to subscribe and like the video because it really helps the channel out. And I hope you had a great New Year's, a great Christmas, and you're ready for 2022. I know the past few years haven't been great on all of us, but we got to keep a positive attitude and keep moving forward because that's the only way that we're going to get anywhere in life. But thank you for watching. Until next time, remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. If you made it this long, leave the words Baba Gaga in the comments. Peace. And I'm out.